with an airport and an airport. There's a seaport with a seaport. And the politicians in Santa Luzon at that time were very, very, you know, when they don't realize the vision, just like the oil from Mr. Mr. and the vision, and the eh, Kagad, sabi nila, nagagalit sila sa akin pag sinasabi kong hinterland. Just think of it this way. Hong Kong was a pirate slayer by the British. That's where they brought the tea from China, and that's where they smuggled goods. Smuggled goods, when I mean smuggled goods, opium, China. Later on, it became an anthropologist. And it went on to uh, uh, Kaolin. And she shopping past the Sol. The last Kaolin na katiraya si Mohamed Marco Polo. And then it went to the new territories. And now it's gone over to Shenzhen. And I went to Shenzhen in 1985 as a member of the delegation of young leaders on the 10th anniversary. When I went there, it was a fishing port with a very few buildings. I want you to know that time, Subic was competing with Hong Kong when I was there in Singapore. That's we were, that was our ambition. Do you realize that so do you realize that Shenzhen has overtaken Hong Kong in terms of port activity? Can you get the data? In terms of container traffic, Hong Kong has been left behind by Shenzhen. Uh, and uh, of course, Singapore has maintained its, its second place. Shanghai is number one, if I'm not mistaken. So, what we're trying to do here will be to decongest Manila, encourage dispersal of industries and new investments, create tourism in Central Luzon, all the way to Northern Luzon. There will be no breaks once they start. They start. They start because uh, you're building a railroad between Manila and Clark, and you'll be building a railroad between Clark and Subi. This is a cargo area. Now, make no mistake about it. Uh, we'll show you the power of Central Luzon. Can you show the map of Central Luzon again, please? Central Luzon has three airports. Subi, Clark, and Manila. Central Luzon has uh, three seaports. Subi, uh, Manila, and Marivelles. And just to give you an idea, Marivelles, I offered the bill of reviving Marivelles. And today, Marivelles, uh, Sol, has 40,000 jobs. This is 12,000 jobs. I offered that in 2009 over the objection from South one senator by the name of Naina Aquino and Senator Biazon. Naina Aquino. And today that's 40,000 jobs. In fact, I'm putting some money in dormitories so that uh, they can get more investments. Because what are the people So this can go very fast. We want to maximize Subic, Clark, and Manila. And you recall we had FedEx and Subic landing before, and we really boomed. All right. We did not take advantage of that. National government, as usual, was uh, had a sparsity of vision. Because we were getting also Lee Kashi, HIT, 1995, 1996, when Hong Kong was handover. There was the handover. Lee Kashi went to us. Of course, we were wooing him. And he went to us and he wanted to run the ports in Subi. And at that time, Hong Kong already had about 10 million containers, movements a year. You can see, when you go to Hong Kong the next time, or in Singapore, you will see in Hong Kong ship to ship transfer of cargo because Hong Kong is a transshipment port. Small ships will go beside the big ships and they will the containers and in some of the small ships that will distribute. I'm giving this little lecture here, if I may, because I'm calling it a lecture because I, I would like you to, you don't have to pay for this. But 
Tikigot ang konti kalukod ng big buildings around the pier. I don't know if we've seen that. Inside those buildings, you have thousands of containers. <coughs> a small city of containers. Everybody has a special bird there, McDonald's. Their burgers, we put it there. And the traffic between China and Hong Kong is incessant. So we are here to show that we so that we could have the economic activity that we have now in Hong Kong. Now, because of that, uh, when Li Kaching went to Subic, nagulang ang vision ng Presidente, pinatigil yung bidding after Li Kaching had won twice. I will not go into that because that still has a, there's still a battle in my heart with that. The bid was awarded, but pinatigil. There was a Supreme Court case. Sabi ng Supreme Court, tama yung ginawa ni Senator Gordon, ni Chairman Gordon, pero ang Presidente ang boss. In simple terms, that was the decision. Now, if we have gotten FedEx already, and we have gotten Lee Ka Shing, I will go back to my victim. Just because you have fear, it doesn't make an active port. You have to have ships. The quickest way to have ships would be to have transshipment which means baksakan ang barko ng container para ililipat sa ibang lugar. That was the business of FedEx. They dump cargo there, they bring all their planes, pick up the cargo, and the idea is speed. Speed is the name of the game. Now, they could bring it to Arizona, they could bring it to Italy, overnight. And if we had that lake crashing there, they would have done the same thing. And once you have shipping activity and airport activity, the factory is will now come in to the hinterland. Yan ay yung Pangkaulun, yan ay new territories. And of course, the financial centers will happen in Subic, like you did in Hong Kong or Singapore. Uh, going to the present, there is a zone. We have 11 million hectares of land at the 2.2 uh, million hectares of land. And uh, Central Luzon is 21,470 square kilometers. If you look at Singapore, it's at 719,000. No, 21 million square kilometers. 21,000 square kilometers. Oh, that was on um, Singapore, 719 square kilometers. Now, you can get it. We have more land, more people, we have schools there, we have airports, they have airports, we have crossed the Cubic and Manila, so near to each other. And you have seaports, Cubic, Marivelas, Manila, you can have all these things happening in our area. So, having seen that power, all we need to do is consolidate this power, use the expressways, use the railroad that is going to be built soon, within quite a minute, and then you acquit yourselves of the investments. Taxpayers' money, borrowing should be undertaken. This road was built by Congressman Buara, or Senator Kawa Swapa, or Governor, you know, Ganita yung pakita. But it is that again. What we're here for is to create jobs and investments. And if we create jobs and investments, I think we can really catch up very, very fast. I'm not, I'm not even mentioned to this one. Uh, when, as I said, when is aware that the uh, the development of the peers because on December 17 or 19, 18, 18, uh, the chairman of uh, Royal Caribbean, they just called me this morning, and I may have told me this before, and I've met them in Cuba before, in Subic. 
they are going to go to Subic with their start uh, with their uh, Royal Caribbean cruises in China. That would mean 5,000 Chinese to start with every time they go. Uh, that's why we're putting in money to expand the pier side of it. And you need to improve the airports in Park and Subic because that's why they like it there because there's an airport. Always you have to have an airport with cruises, cruise lines. But if you're not convinced of that yet, Subic has always been a pre-port, and Clark has always been a pre-port. As even, there are no tax incentives to the Americans at the time. But I will tell you, this representation was educated by entire family, and thousands and millions of other people have benefited from the American presence, because when the Americans arrived, if they were not working in Subic, they would pour in money to the local economy. I can tell you when I was a kid, Lima in restaurants, some in restaurants, I am. Nakakahay, mother calls a gabi. My mother was a very, was in the Red Cross, was busier than me. Hindi kunin ko yung pera na kinawa doon sa ka. 150,000. When there was a ship, and we counted and deposited the next day. Kaya parang nagkaroon ng pera sa Long Gabo, saka sa Clark Field at that time. Without even having to do, go into the nightclub business. Just five restaurants. He created other businesses like piggery, uh, bakery, and everything. They were very entrepreneurial, my parents. This is what I'm trying to say here. This will create a lot of other investments, downstream industries. When Rico came into Zubik, they were asking me, Why don't you fabric on a carton? Well, they have to bring in a Chinese, Taiwanese one to make their carton for their shoe boxes. Hitachi came in. Meron ba kayo mga pabrika ng downstream industry so you can supply us. So, all these guys will come in like a wool pack and uh, they will bring in their team of folks here. Can you stop moving please? It's disturbing me. I'm, I'm delivering a, an extemporaneous uh, uh, presentation here and I, I really get disturbed very, very easily. So having said all that, it's important, therefore, that we all understand where we're going here. There are very tax incentives in Subic, in Clark. And everybody says, Green City in Clark. No, our job, if you look at the charter of BCDA, is to improve those who are displaced and also the economy around these bases. They're all by their loads and there, unless they have connectivity to other industries. So we're creating a team like that in and the Makirala, the Lang Pasha in the Santa Romina, 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 the Santa the 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 vision therefore, Sayang, the governor is not here, but my congresswoman is here, congresswoman de Lawson, thank you for coming. Uh, the idea is, if I was a ballot, I can choose to have a theater, because I have a lot of ocean on the beach. I could choose to have an agricultural economic zone, because I have lots of land for farming. I could choose to have a pizza, a small town that has 25 hectares. That's the minimum for a peso. Or, sorry? We can, huh? we can nominate land with land. Yeah, they can nominate the land. That's their investment. That's invest in that. You could put it in the stock market and they can invest. So, how we step from that? From the South South and Iron Chan, Samay Mga Peter in town, Lana Pasan Galing Natin. They haven't done it. The country has never grown because our leaders have never presented us a common vision. And this is what I'm trying to present to all of you today. You can present yourself with Hong Kong and Now, uh, the other thing that I want to tell you is if we do this, you create more jobs. You pop up the economy. Because I'm going to say to Tito that is if you allow, is 
places of disasters. If a disaster hits Metro Manila like an earthquake, you won't have a place where you could put the people who are injured. The other week, I was, in Man I was with Ami and uh, Subi, who were showing off our breakfast tents where we have operating rooms. So I'll be going it's puny, but anyway, we can try. With soldiers that we now have in our computers, that we can call. Kula, you need 100 tents like that. Because 33,000 deaths, right? 120,000 injured. Well, pa mga fires. You're going to have it. And, maswerte na kung makapunta dito sa mga lugar na pupuntahan. Pag tinamahan ka in the middle of traffic, marayong namatay. Segundo ang binibilang, hindi abot. So, we have to do it just Manila. Somebody got to work with us and say, hey, it's not there. It's, and the solution to me is not just putting in more infrastructure, gagalit sa inyo yung mga ating Mindanao. Dito na lahat. Kaya naman na sumasakay sa trend dito. Hindi naman kami sumasakay dyan eh. Pero kung lalabas nyo ang Central Luzon, you have a template. We can do this. I have another bill Mindanao Development Port in Laguna, in Lanao, Development Authority, where we will develop not just Barawi, but Lagu Lalao Lake. We have going to use Laguna Dubai, which I've found before, para magawa lahat siya. But we have to win here first. So I'll give you the bill. Uh, we'll now ask you for your comments. Uh, I'm sure you've read the bill. I'm sure DFA, uh, DOF has a lot of comments. Uh, like I said, we're not adding uh, new incentives. It's there. Punta lang kayo dito. Ang pinag-uusapan lang dito, how do we run it? How do we run it? Do we have a professional board na may representation ng SBMA? Uh, Clark? Ang APECO, Juan, tapos may representative yung Central Luzon Development Authority. I don't want the big board para mabilis gumalaw. And then, do we give it a budget from all these people para you can now promote it collectively? Do we now have uniformity in terms of the incentive para hindi tayo nag-aaway? We don't compete with each other? We present this as a homogeneous territory. Then we go to other countries, we go to Europe or go anywhere else. They'll come here. You know, in, in closing, when I did Civic Bay, I saw this in a foreign office. My classmate is here, a former ambassador to uh, Ireland. I was very flattered because. Uh, uh, my is in this, uh, uh, sorry, uh, retired now, retired now, retired now, retarded. Do you have told me, mabuti ko ngayon, meron kami pwede ibenta, pero kay Subic. Huwag mo makakalit yung parka, kasi yun, napahiya kami sa parka. Pero kung mapapit yung parka, thanks to Ramos, also, Ramos is a good thing also with that. And by the way, when you make it in the free court, sabi ko, patatalo tayo dyan sir, sa Supreme Court, pag-alis niyo. Diliman ko nga. Then I want your free court. Pag-alis pa. Ayun rin, siya yung nagbalik ng free court. Ako. Ayun ko yung free court sa court, pero sabi ko siya, wala lang kayong dagot yan, wala lang kayong free court. So, i-alis yung mga investors eh. Changing the rules in the middle of the game again. Yeah. And then, my brother is giving me. And now, I'm going to do it. I was about to go over there, you know. I'm going 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 to go over there. When I went there last time, I was going to go over there. I'm 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 going to go over there. Now, you can look at the contributions that I will let all these ports, all these new operations, Speak for themselves. I'm talking to Sean, who says, as I said, now on the earth. You don't have to be the answer to the answer. I mean. Good afternoon, Senators, Madam Congresswoman. After this year's report at a minimum of 880 million remittance to the national government. You don't have to be the answer to the local government. Uh, we actually get 2%, so that's 3%. So that should be around 330 million for this year. And how, many, how much have we given from the very beginning? From the very beginning, you were my EA, Zubi. 
I can get back to you or get that information in a little we bit. Never, we never, there's never a time when we're not contributing to the government yes, by way of getting employment and creating a tax base. So I just have the information right now. The total dividends that we gave to both the national and local government, in 2014, 510 million, in 2015, 660 million, and in uh, 2016, 880 million. And you're not even counting my time. Yes, sir. not even counting your time. And please note, sir, that as of this time, um, and I think I'd like to speak with for Clark uh, at this point, as the, the governing bodies of both Clark and Subic actually does not get any share from the income that it generates to the government. So it's actually one thing that we hope that will be considered by the Senate, if not possible through this bill, but a separate bill. You see, when you have a shooter, dapat bigyan mo ng play yung shoot na yan. Yung shooter na yan. Kundi, I agree with that. It's time. Fast, focus, fast, friendly, flexible, forward looking. You always uh, I say that. But so, I think it's a little bit of a So, since we started, uh, we were able to remit a total of around 500 million to the national government. And uh, how much for 100 for our dividend to the national government? So you are not a uh, lover no. anymore? Not anymore. In fact, uh, we are not in the black but after we took over yeah. after two years. Black and blue can be beautiful sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what? Um, from, uh, from the start, you've remitted cash dividends of 2.5 billion. So for this year, we're looking at about uh, 700 million as uh, dividends. Uh, just like what um, Attorney Ami said, we don't get a share in the 5% uh, GIE that's- So you're having to put back so that you could improve it. Yes. We will change that. And you have to give me the suggestions together with the Department of Finance para malaman namin kung ilan talaga dapat ang maibali sa kanila para may expansion. Yeah, I like business too. You have to, I'm sure, win. Maybe some salad and lechon, but I put no palicha salita. Ah, no palicha salita. Dapat tapo ka ng kaya niya. Bakit ako kuri kuri put mo? So anyway, you have to put back money into the world. So, may you have to give up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. It's not your work. Na hindi inimplement. Your Honor, in the end, we have been our CEO of Petrol Products. We thank you, Your Honor, for the significant assistance in the implementation of our incentives, and especially with the committee report and the suggested extension of the sunset provision, Your Honor. Yeah, we, 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 we recommended that we get back the seven years loss and up to the three. So you still have 10 years, but there's a sunset provision. So we're not doing that, you know? Uh, think of it, we're going to host the Asian Games. You can use Subic, Clark, and Bukhawi. Mm -hmm. Yung, yung Arena. Uh, Arena. Go wala yan, wala tayo. Dito tayo yung papagawa. Airports, gagamitin niya. So, any comments now on the bill? There's one good comment that I got. So, we have one comment. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, the, uh, the Department of Finance already submitted their uh, position on the proposal. Can you move your phone? Uh, a little bit? Uh, Mr. Chair, the DOF already, just for info, the DOF already submitted its written position on the current bill last October. That's it. You want everything or yeah, it's, it's there, no? Uh, basically, it's a premise on two major reasons, no? First, on the new car. But it's, it's not no, no, in sync, uh, currently because they were doing the streamlining of the um, bureaucracy and other 
bill at hand under the proposal, the role and responsibilities. Um, Creating another bureaucracy. Yeah, because there are other, corp with respect to the role uh, cited here, that we take note of there is the RDC, which is also in charge of development of different regions, and then we have the NEDA. Well, ask you. Yeah. Well, ask you from Imperial Manila, from the high powers of Manila. Ilan ba na contribute ng Regional Development Council sa development ng bansa natin? Ilan negosyo? Um, Alam mo, they play by themselves. I can tell you, kung, kung hindi marunong yung governor, wala. Show them a picture of, uh, of uh, internet, yung ginawa doon. I'm impressed yung uh, meron silang silos. Meron pa silang peer. Meron pa silang peer. Bilmiko. We don't, I just, uh, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. Hindi tayo gumagawa ng pula po sa dito, pero sasapa rin natin. Help us fix it so that it can be smoother. We're trying to make it smooth and fast. Para, meron tayong ibebenta sa isang, kasing laki ng isang bansa, na kasing laki ng El Salvador in Latin America, in the Central Luzon, na pwede mong ibenta. You know what I used to say? Anybody want necklace here? Ako, kung ako kupili ng bayan, kukunin ko yung necklace eh. Nag-iisa ang laking bayan. Necklace or basilet. If I can put up an airport, seaport, all these schools are there, we can put up a lot of stuff there. Ito, pinagsama lang natin. Kaya gusto ko dito, may Pacific Ocean ka, may China Sea ka. Sige. Sir, no, just, uh, of course, we, uh, we, we appreciate the intention and objectives of the bill and the importance of like, the, the region development of the total Philippines. No? But what we're trying to say is um, maybe uh, there's the RDC app. When you read naman yung premise for the creation of uh, RDC, it's there, eh, yung mga coordination, development, and everything. But probably, what uh, an area which we can look into is maybe, uh, probably, um, there was some lapse or of this missing link in the implementation of the very objective of RDC. When I was Secretary of Tourism, I sat as the core of the RDC. There's never enough time. It was uh, really tem temporary. Temporary. You have to have somebody who's focused. Kaya sinasabi ko dito, yung lagay ng sinasabi ng bureaucracy, I'm a bureaucracy basher. Sinasabi ko, this is really a promotion sa agency lang. They will promote the area. They will, kung mayroon po na investment, they will promote promotion of new infrastructure. Pero yung pagkakadangali mo, ang jaya lang yung, kung ano and you're not going to write it very doing. Let me ask you a simple question. Have you ever seen Panapal Zone? Oh. I know I'm the third of the Philippines. Santa Rosa. Oh, come on, you don't know what? Santa Rosa! When you pass by that, ah, highway, malapit sa masyari, meron siya ng mga public, ah, ng mga sasakyan. Oo, pa nandun lahat, no? Ganun yun. Dati, ang, ang Valenzuela, kaya sila, nagka, nagkabuklo-buklo doon yung, yung uh, well, Malaysian Road. Ha? Yung plastics, yung mabro doon. Yung mga, ang dami sila mga pabrika doon. But this one, you are putting order. Ang vision ko, kung itong highway, ha, ito, magkabila ng highway, meron ang pabrika, pero yung hindi mo lalagyan ng katulad ng ginawa niya magagaling sa Manila ng pitong malls yung EDSA para yung ginawa niyo kasaba maging traffic. Di ba? If you go to America, the neighborhood and expressway, you go inside uh, and, then, and then you will see a, a subdivision there at the time that you let their own malls mara silang generator of activity. Kung ba nga nung araw, ano nga ito kulisihin? Tinagpatawa na yung si Don Amato Amaraneta, who is really a fighter. Ang laking itlog yung nilagyan niya sa kubaw. Mga bata pa kami nung araw. Eh, tingin nyo yan. 
Pag naglaro yung Ateneo Lasag doon, nabi ko, nagbibilay na naman itong bread ko, sinenero na ito, tiga Lasag yan, pero nagbibilay ng pera yun. Puno lang ng restaurant. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, don't look at it with blinders. I'm not going to debate with you. Anyway, pagdating dito kami magdi-debate, basta kami ang law, kami ang legislation, kayo ang magpagawa. But we're asking you to do it. I'm no longer going to tolerate. In fact, galit ako eh. Iyan tiyan siya. You lost seven years. What is the gap of uh, of uh, rooms in this country? Hotels. Hindi niya alam. 128,000. Nasa alipang talaga ito mga national government. 128,000 rooms are what we need. Hmm. Eh kung tayo magkakasama, manalaman natin yan. Di ba? O, oh, magluubuwa mo tayo. Kukunin na yung Asian Games. Sa limang kwarto natin sa Santa Luzon. O, oh, ikaw na, Kiesa. Sila kayo? 2-5. Sila kayo? 3-4-50. O lang ko pa kasama dyan, di ba? O, oh, so meron ka ng 5,000 rooms. Sa Asian Games, meron ka ng paglalagyan. Eh kung gagawin mo pa yung iba, eh marami ka makikita sa dyan. I don't know why we don't consolidate and uh, promote. Help me out that way. Try it out first. Incentives are not going to tell you. Incentives are not going to tell you. Talo pa rin tayo. Dito sa kuryente natin, saksakan na mahal. Tapos ang hirap pa. I'll tell you, the hero I did it in, pag tumpunta ako dito sa kutora, Sabi ko naman ako, gusto ko pagawa ng pati ko doon. Saan tayo yung ito? Doon. Yung 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 yung. Sino yung 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 Makulay niya, ganyan sa division. Ah, Baan makalang niya sa division, di ba ganyan? Kaya niya lamang na tayo ng manilaki dito. Siya rin yung video, siya rin mata, lupa, pagpapigay siya, o yan. Pangimili dito na lang. Di ba? Ang ginagawa ng SM Moon. O. Siya nagsimula. Kaliyo to. Nang makita niya, hey, kaya ito sa mga gate dito, wako nga ako ng buwan, ako nga dito ako. O yan. Maglagay ka na pa ng good will money para meron pa ng servicing dyan. Bahay ng bahay ng Jollibee, bahay ng bahay ng bahay ng bookstore, na dyan, na dyan. That's the way to do business nowadays. You want money but you don't want to invest in it. Okay? So try to get a second look at it, please. Huh? Saka sir, just on the issue of yung sa incentives, your recommendation is not saying that it's totally... Sorry. On the issue of incentives, uh, we're not saying that we're totally uh, well, like incentives. Of course, we realize also the uh, importance, but it's just, uh, of course, as we stated in the bill, as we were now pursuing the yung rationalization of the existing incentives, so probably uh, we can, whatever you know, incentives being um, envisioned here or be, we will, be, will be proposed, uh, can be done in close. Um, so, I've been for the last 2,000 years. I was in front of the Senate, and that's an illustration, and that's how we done. What is the job of the city? Do you want to find the point? Where are you from? Um, huh? Bicol. 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 Ang tayo na lang ang naga, di ba? Wala na yung tayo ako dito sa Manila, di ba? Napuputol pa, nakakasagasa pa, nakakapagda pa. Ano ba naman kayo? Ang tayo naman sa akin po eh. Sabi nyo natin yung board dyan. Ano na yung ano? Kiro ang day ito. Patay! So what I'm trying to say is take a look at it. Don't go away from the standpoint of just... Ano ba ka nakatakot na nakikita ko po? Tell me. I mean, yeah, of course, uh, we know that, of course, there's a revenue for gun, but at the same time, we also oh, want so to... There's nothing there right now. When you give, in a way,
okay, even if like if you give incentives like currently right now we have those tax income tax RDB and then that of course uh, we're not saying that we're not for that no. Uh, and then we have this duty free uh, importation of capital equipment. Uh, this is what we're saying no, because of those there are incentives and and instead of like this revenue well, uh, but, uh, let me let me ask you some questions. Exactly. Let me ask you some questions. I know what you're trying to say. I know position of this uh, tourism in say Asia. Hmm. We're trying to do the last. We're trying to do the last. We're trying to do the last. For seven years, Sino ba naman ang nakikita ng domestic tourism, do you know? Ako nagsilip ko eh. Hindi makapiyahe yung mga tao. We even came out with a full page ad. You can go to Laguna for 1,000 pesos. And you can go see yung mga simbahan na luma. You can go to shooting the run. It is. Kung mga ng jeep mo, may jeep ka, ang owner, punta ka doon, isang libo lang. Ayos ka. We did domestic tourism with one Philippines. Tinagsama-sama ko yan. No? Hindi naman nagpapasya. Hindi ako nagyayaman dito. I, mean, I, I know who I am. I don't have to tell you who I am. I don't have to tell myself magaling ako. I don't have to do that. But I'm trying to tell you. Kung hindi namin ginawa yan, namumulalat na tayo. Oh, I'll give you an example. When I left tourism, we had 2.4 million tourists. From 1.8 million tourists yung nabutan ko yan. Three years lang ako dyan. Pagalit ko, 2.4 million tourists. Tinula ko yung tourism volunteer, tinula ko yung, yung, yung intramuros. Ngayon, 5.9 million. After I left 2004. Uh, ilan taon yun? 13 years? 13 years, you're going to tell me you only double tourism that much? Or uh, almost uh, a little over double, you know? Pero, tanay mo ang ang tana. Ano ang tana? 32 million. Ang, ah, uh, isa ba yun? O, wala, dyan ba? O, can you say it now, Kelly? Malapit na. So, we have to change the paradigm. That's why Abby is telling her here and every day to try to get Royal Caribbean to go down there. We should have had Royal Caribbean a long time ago. Hindi naman yung biniiwan yung pera kinikita ng subik doon para mapagawa ng lame pier. Magpapalimus pa sila dito. Kung walang Senator Gordon na paglalaban dito, kung walang support na yung ibang Senator Luzang Pangrima, di wala wala. Do you understand? So try to understand. Help us craft the bill. Sabi nga ni CNN, you know, move, step aside, if you're out of the way, if you're in the way. Or get out of the way. We will, we will do this bill. I want your help. That's what I'm asking you. I want the, there are no new incentives. We're just saying our job is to create employment, Muna. When you do a PESA, you want to create employment. That is why Marcos built that infrastructure called North Expressway. Umabot hanggang kaduluduluan ng bataan. Ang haba nun. Anong pinakita natin? Wala. Magkakita ba ng North Expressway na puno ba ng pabrika? Kaya ako nababad niya sa Chesa. Nakita ko yung iglesia. Nagtayo doon ng Philippine Arena. O ngayon, nag-chapiship yung Hinebra at saka ako doon. Pulong-pulo. O. So, wala pa sila. Pinigil niyo ba yung insectives sila? Kaya binabalik. Ako nang dahil. Ang mga island dyan na maliliit, maglagay yung may hirap doon na ilang hotel. Saan sila? Sandali lang naman yan, sunset lang yan eh. Kung gusto niya sabihin niya, o bigyan namin ko, may sunset yan. That's what I'm going to listen to you. But if you're saying no, 
Oh, then tell me. That's why you're here. Tell us what you're going to do. Maybe she's going to share with us uh, some ideas. Oh. Kapag wala naman tayo ng train, baka nyo mababago yung train dyan. I'll give you an idea. Pinakailaman na, Maynila, si, si Kwara, alam mo ako, marami akong, sabihin mo ito, pinakailaman kami, hindi pinasok si, si Lee Cushing. Anong ginawa ng gobyerno ninyo sa Maynila? Malapit na ako mag-revolusyon eh. Nahutang sa Japan, pinagawa yung train, pinagawa yung along ko po, SITEX, yung dua sa plan. Ang tawag, SITEX plan? O, SITEX. Umutang yan sa Ubuchi pa. Ano yung barko natin doon sa crane natin na nilagay doon na pagkakaganda na kinakalaong na harus hanggang ngayon lang lang nakakaroon ng barko ng konti-konti? There are only nine shipping lines that call Subic right now. And we could stand to have more so that we can get the incentive, the invent, the The, so that the investment will be worth it. Let me tell you a little star, uh, story, Assistant Secretary Cruz. No? When we did Subic, sabi sa akin, why favorite ako ng World Bank? Pinayroon lang kagawa ko ng pera, $350,000 for a master plan. Doon sa pinaglalagyan ngayon ng Taiwan Zone. Tapos sabi sa akin ng expert na support. You know, Chairman, that port of yours is not going to happen for the next 12 years. You're not going to get any ships there. Sa kanya ko narinig yung peers do not a port make. I got back to him after six months. Mabalik-balik kami doon eh, twice a year. Alam mo, naganda siya ng champagne, wine, fruits, cheese. I'm ready to eat crow because I got American President Lions and Merce Clients. Yung airport mo, alam mo yung air dyan, we got FedEx. Umiyak ako na pinirma ako yan. Umiyak ako na ko ulit nung umalis na ako sa Subic, pag tapos yung parayasin dyan, umalis siya, nagpunta pa ako doon. Because that was another missed opportunity. Why not I miss this one? So either you cooperate with us, if you're just gonna rain on our parade without telling us kung anong gagawin nyo, we don't want you here. We'll just go ahead and do it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not upset with you. But I cannot stand yung the arrogance of the national government na hindi magawagawa yung dapat gawin para sa bayan. When I was a kid, I used to count, Sherry, I'll tell you, sorry, I used to count the number of years. I was running for the Constitutional Convention. After 8 o'clock, and then 7 o'clock in the evening, I would go to the north. I would count the number of vehicles on the highway. Kasi sabihin ko, bakit siya lang ang nasa lubong natin? Wala kasing negosyo dito eh. Wala nga na buhay dito eh. Nung ginawa yung suwal, yung, yung kuryente natin doon, masinlo. Maganda lang iba't iba mga negosyo doon kaya marami nang mapasok doon. Pero, not the kind of businesses that we want pa. Do you have major hotel already sa Balas? We should have one. Ang ganda-ganda nung beach dyan. Pangasinan, nasa Long Beach, Tiazoan. Hindi mag-i-invest yan kung wala kayong pagtulong ng konti. Money begets money. Hindi, ang gawaman dito yung lang mga malapit, yung makapal. Yung malakas sa presidente, yung malakas sa... Yan ang nangyari sa bahay natin. Ginagawa natin ang posisyon ngayon dito para magkaroon. Eh kung wala yan, ang mangyayari dyan eh, malakas ako dyan, bigay mo na sa akin yan. I'm telling the truth. I've been in service for a long time. Hi. Yes, Where are you from? I'm from Peza, Your Peza. Honor. Yes, uh, Your Honor. Did you read the bill? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. um, a Peza is uh, uh, supportive of any effort that will develop the countryside, especially areas that are not yet developed. So, as you mentioned, Uh, Calabarzon is very much developed already, so in fact, uh, we have created, as you mentioned, the mini Detroit in the Philippines in, because of the special economic zones in Laguna, also supported by Cavite, uh, etc. So exactly this is also what we want to happen in all of the regions in the country, including Mindanao and Visayas. So in this direction, Your Honor, 
uh, PESA is now embarking on um, going around all of the local governments. So we have done already uh, local government roadshows in Mindanao, Visayas, and in Central Luzon included, and the uh, individual local governments to inform them about the PESA program because apparently many of them still do not know or do not understand what the PESA program is all about. And so at this time, uh, PESA has already gathered commitments from certain national government agencies on certain land that they have in their land bank that they can uh, offer to PESA for development by private developers and probably in joint venture, maybe through uh, loans or uh, for whatever financing uh, packages may be available. And local governments have likewise identified also their areas which they can also offer to prospective economic zone developers. So exactly this is also the direction which uh, uh, we believe that uh, the Honorable Senator's bill is uh, trying to pursue, uh, particularly for Central Zone. But uh, since you mentioned uh, your honor, we are only very concerned, I, I think also the other investment promotion agency because all of us will be abolished. <laughs> but nonetheless, that is a side issue, but uh, I think the greater uh, concern will be that um, the creation of another agency. Who will abolish you? Because uh, the repealing clause uh, repeals the, the PESA law, the BCDA law. Here? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Did we, yes, Your Honor. Did we, did we do that? We did not. It does, Your Honor, in the repealing clause. Uh, it's uh, abolished in relation to, of course, amended accordingly. So that means PESA will be abolished in so far as central. No, 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 far from it. There, there is a repealing clause, Your Honor. Hmm? If only in compatible. That's, that's standard in, in law. Anything that, if it's incompatible with the objectives of the law, will it be, will, will it be affected? But I, uh, you were not here earlier. The whole idea is to have PESA, Tiesa, all of you guys, go together and now promote an entire region and when this succeeds even before it succeeds we will do it again in southern Luzon we will do it in Cebu in eastern Visayas para sabay sabay na yan using the strength of the ports and the airports in the area to serve our country I'll give you another example in New York there are three airports you know what they are? JFK LaGuardia and Newark. Tabi -tabi That's why they have the triangle there. In North Carolina, they have the Golden Triangle there also. So, what do you have to do with that? We need to do with that. We don't have 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 to do with that. You know, so I graduated in Atenea and I was in history and government. My first job was in Procter and Gamble brand. All right? Isa lang yung nag-iisip sa kumpanya yung brand. Kung ano ibibenta namin, paano namin ibibenta. Ang sabi ng sensor, ano forecast mo? Yan, ganyan. Ganito yan. You have 2 million hectares here against uh, 700, uh, you know, 19 square kilometers ang Singapore. Lidi ta Singapore kina kaya kayo di pa kaya niya. Lidi ta mo ko kina kaya kayo may reporta may reporta ang dito nila di pa lang di magawa. Kampa ka naman oh. Mapapa duterte na yan ako dito eh. Dano. Anyway, may continue. Ha? May continue po. Nonetheless, even if the repeal is only to the respect that this is inconsistent with the provisions of the bill. The bill actually supplants all of the powers and authorities of the IPAs in Central Luzon. But having said that, Your Honor, uh, you mentioned earlier about uh, what are alternatives for uh, also pursuing the objectives of this bill. So instead of a uh, corporation, uh, perhaps it can be considered that uh, a council instead be created composed of the heads of the different IPAs and probably headed by the Secretary of uh, NEDA or DTI at the Secretary level 
to study the to to draw up a master plan for the region and all of I'm sorry I'm very impatient now. let me tell you something ano na ba ang ginawa sino bang NEDA ang nakagawa ng ganyan sino ba ang Secretary of Trade ang nakagawa niyan sino ba ang nag-isip niyan I'll tell you something ang PEPA succeeded because of my contemporary named Lilia de Lima uh, Lilia de Lima we were both in the constitutional convention I went into pre-ports she went into export processing zones no thanks to anybody. Marijuana is dying. Nagtatampo pa sa akin si, si Lilia nung uh, ginawa ko ang marijuana. And yet, marijuana has exceeded our expectations. Far exceeded our expectations. You cannot use fear as a way of thwarting the future. So what I'm saying is, right now, your suggestions, we're not going to kill anybody here. We just want to make sure that we are able to uh, put together our strength so that when you all go one day, as you can go, you promote something you know. That's why I'm saying, harmonize the incentives. Hindi pare pareho. Iwan ang konting pera para ma-improve ninyo yung mga pera, yung mga tiyasa, yung mga lugar na yan. Eh, puro, ang problema rito, Para ikapit yung national government, wala naman tinutulak, tapos may nagpapalipos si yung mga tao, nagpapalipos. Lang wala pa ginapang. Yeah. Just one, one last point. I'll tell you something. You see that airport of yours? Manila International Airport? Again, you know, Nina Aquino International Airport? That, that died for 10 years. Guess who was fighting for it? Me! With President Gordon on the Bagala Road, said, open that damn airport. Ang pinag-aaral ko na, sino ang papatakbo? Mag-aaral ko na, yung kalakuhan na, yung kalakuhan. Every time a plane lands, so, kung may bago pala ako yung airport, hindi boss, eh, sarato. Bakit? May corruption eh. Investigation. Ina-advertise nyo pa yung corruption. I am, I am a national government beater. Unless national government can show me something that they've done right, I will forever fight the national government. This is an initiative coming from the locals. That's why the next meeting, I, uh, Cheryl, you lead, you get the local, gov lo local governors and the mayors will, will meet in Central Luzon. And if you care to go with us, fine. Uh, but you're reading it wrong. Because this is a rough draft. And when it goes to the committee, it will contain your suggestions and your suggestions. All right? So, take it that way. Go ahead, Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chair, I just want to uh, manifest. No, I've, I've definitely meron po akong vested interest dito sa proposal niyo because, you know, you can't p go to um, Central Luzon without passing Valenzuela. So, I think uh, even though we're part of Metro Manila, I think uh, Valenzuela serves as a uh, gateway to Central Luzon. Um, having said that, Mr. P uh, Chairman, um, I've been reading a lot about BCDA lately and how BCDA is very active in that region. And since the Executive Vice President is here with us right now, uh, may we be enlightened regarding the investments and the projects that are being undertaken by BCDA in Central Luzon? And I know it sounds very exciting considering that there's also a sort of like a broadband project being undertaken by uh, BCDA and all of these projects are quite relevant no, to this proposal. So can we be enlightened briefly what are the uh, what are the projects, the vision of BCDA in Central Luzon? Go uh, ahead. Just to enhance what we're talking about here. But you are, you know, in point, Venezuela will benefit from this. Uh, no, really. No, kasi kami daanan. Eh, daanan eh. Kaya, yung kayo doon, maglalagay kayo ng zona ninyo na gusto nyo ilagay. O you can urban redevelop, no? Uh, the area. By the way, I don't mind telling Eileen, is it true that BCDA has been using this bill already? Na meron tayo nung uh, uh, 3 to 1 bit? Ano? Yes, sir. Oh, yan. Nagpunta lang kayo sa France. Sinabi na ito ni Vince. Hindi pa tapos, sinasabi niya na. 
Nah, kau tahu itu mbak yang ada. Oh, you had, Sheila. You can have the power. I love the point. Open your mouth and see what suggestions you can make. If there are some violent objections, I will introduce them around. Yeah, lang. Make sure it's cogent. You see, the, the whole results of our country militate against you. And I, I, I can tell you, tatanggalin sana yun sa mga pesas. Tatanggalin yung mga pesas sa inyo. Tatanggalin yung tiyasa. Yung mga pre-pos. Yung bank. I fought, for, I fought against that. You're changing the rules in the middle of the game. Who's going to invest here anymore? Wala na. Pagka pinangako mo, tapos tatanggalin mo. Kaya sabi ko, yung tiyasa, may sunset provision yan. After 10 years, wala na yan. Dapat lang, imbis na pesa, tiyasa, because mas madaling kumita sa tourism eh. Hindi masyadong malaki ang investments eh. Go ahead, Irene. Do you have somebody helping you there? Uh, I think they found the <laughs> presentation already. Mr. Chairman, I just would want to express the uh, position also of BCDA on the bill. Of course, uh, needless to say, NCDC, needless to say, we support it 100%. But uh, I think we forgot our uh, properties in the north. We have uh, Camp John Hay and Poro Point. So... Uh, it's not Central Luzon, it's, also, it's Northern Luzon. <laughs> Eventually, kasama yan. Kaya lang, pag sinabi mo ko agad dyan, baka umangal ka agad dyan, ba't mo kami pinapakilaman? Ganun ang Pilipino. <laughs> Pero ang buti sinabi mo yan, isang sama natin yan. Kung gusto nyo, ang, ang original bill namin hanggang lawin yun eh. Hanggang ilopos doon eh. Oh. Kasama lang siya. Because it complements the infrastructure. By the way, I will remind you, La Union is a pre-port because of the Gordon. Last and zone, senor, ako naglagay doon sa BCDA law. Go ahead. I can just keep the, the BCDA uh, accomplishments. So uh, we can uh, have the next slide, please. Uh, faster lang. Well, uh, well, Fort Bonifacio, then next slide. Uh, what we're just saying here, Mr. Chairman, is that we have, uh, we have some experience in planning and developing certain cities. Next slide. Uh, well, Clark Freeport Zone, and uh, next slide. Um, well, Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway, which spans uh, five provinces and impacts from 10 to 13 million uh, people, Filipino. Uh, are going to expand the, uh, uh, the TIPLEX, di ba? Kaya ba yan? Mr. Chairman, uh, hindi po sa amin yung TIPLEX, it's uh, DPWH. Uh, this morning... Pero gagaan sa inyo yun, sa North Express, sa Kuan, sa... Coconnect po. Oh, Coconnect. Uh, Coconnect sa inyo. Yes. Oh, yeah, you know, that's yes. what I meant. I'm sorry. Yes. And uh, well, this morning, uh, there, the, uh, the build, build, build team were in, was in Pozorobio because uh, TPLEX will be uh, until La Union now. December yes. Today. Yes. Really today. Sorry. Yes. Yes. So, uh, okay. Next slide. Uh, well, we know that Central Luzon is the fastest uh, growth corridor in the Philippines. Uh, next slide. Uh, well, uh, yesterday, uh, Mr. Chairman, the, the submission of the bids for the new Clark International Airport Terminal uh, was uh, undertaken. There were seven bidders. So we will be uh, announcing the uh, pre-qualified proponents, I think, tomorrow. And then, passenger uh, capacity. Eight million passengers per annum, Mr. Chairman. But right. uh, expandable actually to 32 million passengers per annum at full build out. Hmm. But nagi isip pa tayong maglalagay ng airport sa San Miguel at sa kadu sa sa Bulacan at sa kadu sa 
sa sang Lipoid. Gito ninyo, oh, yan dapat ang ina, ito, ayan na yung Clark ko, oh. i-expand na. Dapat kasama dyan, ang, gawin yung Clark Subic Airport dyan para talaga magkasama yan. Because you only have literally one runway, right? Di ba? No, 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 no. One runway. I know, I, 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 inisip ko lahat yan ng bago maling Amerikano. One runway, isang runway nyo, parking. Pwede yung pagpalipat doon, pero parking yung pag nilagay mo na yung mga jet dyan, one runway. With Subic, you have two runways. Runway in Clark, runway in Subic, so you have extra. Before any planes, international landing, Clark, nag-landing muna sa Subic. And I got Clark, yung, ano yung brand? UPS. And I got DHL to Manila. Because they all want to go to Subic, nag-aagawa sila, makuha ko na. Nag-aagawa sila, sabi ko na, punta kayo doon sa Subic. Punta kayo sa Clark, punta kayo doon sa Clark. That's a fact. So, that's what I'm, I'm only saying that. Because I want to let the, the, uh, the Department of Finance and all the other agencies here know, once it works, everybody's gonna come in. Matatawa tayo dyan. Pag ito ginawa natin, make sure maghanda na tayong gumawa doon sa Cebu. Make sure maghanda na tayong gumawa sa Kaguanduro, sa Tapao. And I'm sure we're doing that with the Mindanao Railway. And maghanda na tayo doon sa Southern Luzon hanggang sa, sa, hanggang sa Northern Luzon. Lahat dyan. We will use the strength of the military. We are preparing the things there now. This is our first part, and then we're going to go to the rest later on. Same principle. You just have to tell us, kung nasasagla sa akin kayo, sabihin nyo, nasasaktan kami dyan, pwede bang palitan natin yan? Pwede. Sabi nga ni Manny Pacquiao, pwede, pwede di pindi. Ayan. Okay, sir. Papagati sa ayun niya. Tuloy mo na. Sige, nabibilib na ako. Sige. Next slide. Next slide, please. We have the Subic Clark Cargo Railway Project. This is... The status is actually... It's a pending MEDA evaluation. It's a train? Yes, sir. Cargo train. I can show the alignment later. The alignment is on the same path as... Yes, it is because we are not paying the right of way, right? Yes, sir, but there are some areas na hindi siya SITEX alignment. Oo yung oo yung papalikod sa mga may ari na may ayaman na. Naya na yari sa SITEX. Alam niyo hindi ko alam yan. Yung SITEX din rowing yan para dumaan sa mga lupa na malalaking tao. Kita na ng derecha tayo. Sige, kasi si Bapa tuto ay sila sabi ko. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's uh, the project cost is around 1.2 billion U.S. dollars. And uh, well, next slide. We'll just go straight to uh, oh, the Clark International Airport Terminal Building. So uh, the timetable for this is we will uh, award by December 20. Okay. Uh, this is for the EPC. And then after, after, we will be building out the independent consultant. And uh, immediately uh, thereafter, we will, build, we will bid out the ONM, Operations and Management of the Terminal. So uh, all these are through bidding, uh, Mr. Chairman, for uh, transparency and greater accountability. Uh, next slide. The bidding is the on the box. Okay. Uh, Clark uh, Green City, now called uh, Clark, New Clark City, is uh, being uh, planned, uh, Mr. Chairman. And <laughs> 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 uh, New Clark City, na po. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Uh, next slide, please. Um, okay, this is uh, envision to be green, intelligent, smart, uh, something like not opposite of Metro Manila, with due respects. Uh, next slide. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, this is going to be a master plan, the uh, well master planned city, Mr. Chairman. And um, well, we have started with this. Next slide. Uh, well, this is the site now. So next. Okay, so uh, number one, of course, is infrastructure, which is, of course, the objective of the bill, RIIC. No? To Let me ask a question. Yes. Sino consultant you do sa Clarkfield, sa airport? Nagpabid ba kayo dyan, ang consultant? Sir, nagpabid yung DOTC in the previous administration mm. in <laughs> Airport de Paris. I just want to tell you in public, ha? I want to tell you in public. In fact, ano ang aking para sa Subic, binibid ng isang agency doon, binalik ko yung para sa DBM, kayo na magpabid. Tama ka I will not stand for any corruption. I will go after any corruption. If you do that there, I'll go after you. I'm not trying to threaten anybody, but I do not appreciate it when they're rigging the bid to make somebody else win. Uh, Mr. Chairman, it was a grant uh, from the French government, no? Aeroport de Paris. We use this for the bidding for the EPC. You know, I'm a grant man, that's an indelibrian. Diba? You know that, right? I mean, I'll tell you, it's French. Uh, Elijah, Dumana Rujan, we had a house in England before. Did they be here? No. Uh, I'll go. Sir, uh, Mr. Chairman, this was under the OTC then. Wala sa BCDA po yung Clark International. I think I think we should learn. That's another thing. Ah, pesa kaya nasa sabi niya kayo ha. The of dapat matuto yung yung mga agencies na matuto ng magpabid because you are going to be the user. When we did subi kami na nagbid, maganda lang yung equipment. Pagalis ko na wala lang yung equipment. So I just want to tell you that. Dapat bawa lang kami ng Department of Finance doon. Hindi niya ba siningil? Sige. Mahumalang kayo. Kinuha ng national government yung yung IFF. Papagin namin. Hiniram nila. Pagbalik. Wala na. Luray-luray na. Sige. Salta pa kayo. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. So, with the Clark International Airport Terminal, this will be the main driver of growth for uh, Clark and Central Luzon. But for New Clark City, and we have the Congress, Senate, and the House to thank for, because they have in 2018 budget uh, already approved and allocated 12, uh, 6 billion pesos for 2018, and for 2019, another 6 billion pesos for the two major roads that will really spur the development of New Clark City. The first one is along Kapa, uh, Starlock, no, going to MacArthur Highway, and going to uh, Subic Clark, Tarlac Expressway. So this will connect uh, New Clark City to two major roads. And of course, uh, since Clark International Airport is the main driver of growth, we are going to connect also um, the main zone to the uh, new Clark City, uh, direct to the Clark International. Can you tell Air. us uh, what new Clark City is and what Green City is? Uh, new Clark City, formerly Clark Green City, is uh, what? Clark Green City. That was the the name before. So, kapitan na po namin, sir, ng New Clark City. Because this is the yeah, city. Right. I don't know. Eh. Merong <laughs> Green City, tapos may New Clark City. Can you explain yes. to us what that means? The same lang po sila, sir. This covers 9,450 hectares of mixed-use development uh, directly north of the main zone in Clark, which we know now as Clark. But actually, Clark encompasses around 6,000. Hindi po. Ano ito? Sub-zone. It's part of the subzone. Uh, mm. 27,000 uh, 27, hectares. Really yeah. 27, hectares. So the main zone is for the. I'm just asking this question. 
Ano lang po sa akin sa kila yung ipuan? Ang development area is... Ang domain zone is 4,400. 4,400 hectares, sir. Ang main zone po. That's where the airport is. That's a developed zone. Yeah, that's a developed zone. And soon to be developed zone is how many? The total area is 27,000 hectares. And part of the 27,000 hectares is 9,450 hectares, which is the new Clark City, previously called Clark Green City. Hmm. Buti naman, natawang kayo. Ano yun? Bibiro lang yan, nagbibiro lang tayo ito. Pero ano, ano, ano ilagay niyo sa New Clark City? Ano ilagay niyo? Uh, sir, um, if we can explain further. No, yes, please. As okay. I said, it's 9,450. If such a uh, enthralling voice, you're putting me to sleep. <laughs> Para mami na nagpapatulog ng anak ko. <laughs> Sige na mami, tuloy mo na. <laughs> Next slide. Uh, this is the... Um, perspective of the new major roads so hindi lang siya the roads this is not a road that is made just for cars so this is a 68 meter wide road uh, it has a bike lane it has a wide generous pedestrian lane in the center there is an, a provision for brt or bus rapid transit so um Parang EDSA siya, but uh, this is going to be better because uh, there will be uh, provision for mass transport. It's not just for vehicles. Because the more you build roads, the more vehicles <laughs> you attract. So, uh, because New Clark City is uh, envisioned to be, uh, to have a transport hub. No? So you it's for people. What do you mean by that? I know an airport hub. What yes. do you mean by a transport hub? So there will be a convergence, uh, Mr. Chairman, for uh, the transport infrastructure uh, for rail, for road, and for buses. Going. This will be the going backbone. Where? Throughout, throughout the whole Luzon area. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. You complete the sentence. Yes. Okay. Hey, go ahead. Next slide. Okay, those, uh, that's the alignment of the road palang. Have you considered the fact that the lahars could be remobilized someday? Um, yes, Mr. Yan Chairman. Yan ang delikato dyan, ha? Mm. Yes, Mr. Pag Chairman. Pag yung lahar, matataba ang kayo dyan. So I hope that you're considering that. Mm. That's why the Americans left clock right away. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Chairman. A lot of people don't know that. They left right away because sabi nila, users na ito, pagka umulan ulit dyan, magre-remobilize. So you better make sure that you're cons you've consulted the uh, fee box. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Have you? Uh, our master planners have already considered that in the master plan. Mr. Did they consider, did so they have fee box? My question is, did you yes, have fee box? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Can you give me a report on that to be sure? I just don't want to lose money on that. We can uh, give you the full report of AE Corp. No, I just want to make the report that is going to cost okay. risk your development. Uh, it's a good plan. I'm not criticizing it. Yes, I just want to make sure you're protected, you're insulated. Yes, Mr. Chair. Because ang laki ng gilasos natin dyan. So I was in the Malpita Tubo Commission before. Yes. Uh, we were part of that because we were in a long report. Tinamahan kami yan. And yan ang mga tinitigyan namin na delikado mga areas. But I'm sure kung maayos natin yan, Pag, uh, kasi pag umulan, nagre-remobilize yung lakar eh. Kung malakas talaga eh. Okay? And then, uh, na, ano na yan, mga hapon. Uh, next slide. Um, well, this is the new Clark Commercial Center, but the next slide will show you uh, the develop Next slide, please. Um, well, in the RIIC bill, no, uh, we pointed out actually that uh, the priorities that usually go into mixed-use development, but uh, now we're trying to uh, look at the entire development and uh, go through, uh, have a project called the mixed income housing. Because, for example, in Clark Main Zone, there are 100,000... 
104,000 employees to be exact, and they don't live inside the main zone because these are very expensive for them. So they uh, live outside of the Clark main zone. Now we don't want that to happen in the new Clark City. So we would uh, we envision to provide uh, mixed income housing, affordable housing for the employees as well as the investors. Let me ask a question here from Pesha. Problema sa inyo yung bahay ng mga empleyado, di ba? Problema rin sa mga siyudad na may pesa yan. Kasi incomplete ang planning. Incomplete ang planning. Gagawa tayo ng pabrika. Tapos yung tao, maghahanap ng bahay doon. Hindi nakahanda. Walang tubig, walang yan, no? So that is why we are in need of this plan. Itong ginagawa natin. Pagka naglagay tayo dyan, may incentives yan na maglagay kailangan ng bahay para hindi na mahihirapan yung mga tao, may transportation, may kasamang bahay or, or boarding areas para uh, less uh, burdensome for the public. I hope you will really consider that because this is part and parcel of this. Yeah, go ahead. Um, our reason for not uh, granting incentives to housing projects is inside economic zones or even outside because we don't have jurisdiction outside is because special economic zones by their nature are restricted areas and uh, only tax and duty f because of the tax and duty free. Uh, I did not say they were going to be inside. All I'm saying is you provide housing. Uh, yes, sir. I know that. That's yeah. a special economic zone. That's a custom separate territory. Yes, po. All right. I mean, you sound like uh, we don't know what we're doing here in the Senate. Yes, that's how it sounded to me. We, we do our homework here, you know. Go ahead. I just, I'm trying to emphasize the fact that we need housing wherever we go. Look at what's happening to uh, Mariveres. Housing costs have gone up in town. Ito, dorms ito. Yung ginagawa na, dorms, di ba? Barracks, di ba? Go ahead. Next slide. Mm. Uh, this is what uh, I have uh, mentioned uh, earlier, Mr. Chairman, the transport hub. No. Yes, next slide. Next slide. Next. Next slide. Uh, the innovation part. Uh, the Japanese are very interested in investing in this innovation park. It's an R&D center uh, for advanced... Do you have incubators? Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. That's mm. why we have University of the Philippines Sana in uh, the new Clark Green C new we Clark City. Clark. We have UP in the main zone. Yeah, we have UP Clark. Yes. But uh, this one, uh, we're, we envision this to, su to really support the R&D and the science city. technology. Science yes. Taiwan. Parang Sinchu yeah, Taiwan or, is, uh, or, uh, or Silicon Valley, if you want to be very oh, ambitious wow. okay. about it. Oh, How many universities do you have around BCDA in Clark? How many students do you have? Oh, sige. Yeah, mga tinatanong. Because if you want to put something, you have to make sure that you have the student uh, population to support it. Otherwise, they're not going to go to you if there's no students. In Subic, we're having a hard time because our schools are not up to speed in terms of uh, the demand. See, we're planning are taking into consideration the education they're at. Oh, how many universities do you have? Uh, the graduates. Uh, uh, universities, Mona. Universities. Uh, Yes, sir. Uh, Holy Angel, I think more than 10. Come back na lang next time. Yes, sir. Nambubola ka eh. And you bring all the students and everything. And you have science high school there? Good. Tignan niyo lahat dyan. We put up a computer school there by the Red Cross, by the way. It's become one of the best. Kami ni Pamintuan. Ayan. Do sa tinapon na mga tao na malayong malayo, hindi nakapag-aaral ng tao ng tatlong taon at apat na taon, until they came to us and we got the Koreans to build a special school for them to make computers. Mr. Chairman, the uh, 
We also allocated a, a place for the Philippine Science High School, the Fab Labs, no? and the uh, uh, Technological University of the Philippines because they will... Do you have a science high school in Clark? Besides there. Uh, Philippine Science High School, sir, is uh, located in Clark. We have a regional science high school in Subic. I put that up. Yes. One of the first things I put up there is a regional science high school. I don't know if it's a walking school, John. Uh, it's uh, not a school uh, anymore. It's uh, being used so now as a, as a one-stop shop for oh, the one stop shops. Don't you talk about the regional science, you science high school? And then that's the that's design for a school. What's going on? Because now or before that? Which the one-stop shop? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Kamina. With uh, the SIAC. I don't know why this is school. Wala na. Wala school na dan. Sir, ang school is, uh, yung Philippine Science High School is in Clark also. In a new location. Some building. Uh, it's a new location, new building. Nagpatayo pa kayo ng bago? Nagpatayo. Sila po mismo nagpatayo. We just gave them the land. I think, Mr. Chairman, that's also one aspect that I think we seriously need to look at because while we provide the land to UP, for example, Philippine Science, but they need really the support and the financial assistance to put up what we are thinking of to... If what you're saying is correct, the one school should have been given to Philippine Science High School so that instead of building a new building, they could have used it for their equipment. Don't you think so? Hmm? I'm sorry for being acerbic, but Galing say your suggestion. Yes, sir. That's why in Subi, we gave them the science high school, one of the uh, great schools, and we have graduated many doctors, many engineers, many scientists. Iba mga scientists. That's the other thing that we have to do is make them come back. I mean, you have a public scientist program. I like your idea about having that uh, uh, science uh, program there, but uh, you can get our scientists to go there. And uh, that's where you can get, we have a lot of housing. So if we provide opportunities for scientists where they can work separately and they can do research, that would be good. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, sir, plano pa lang hu lahat ito, but uh, we really certainly... So, plano pa, plano pa lang kayo, di ba lumilipad? Naputo lang kita. I read something about uh, re relocating or creating a new government center. It's an ex okay. You're right. No, that's uh, a more, for me, it's an exciting uh, proposition. Eh. Next slide. Uh, the National Government Center, yes. Uh, this is really, uh, say, an initial 50 hectare development for uh, a National Government Administrative Center. Can you continue this, uh, because it's 3 o'clock, we're going to have our sessions already, and uh, uh, I just want to point out to uh, Senator Gachelian that we can have a special uh, BCDA presentation here, along with SBM and along with the others, but right now, the, the, the you know, uh, what I would have wanted to hear is, for example, from, uh, from uh, Peza, it's uh, a little bit like a fear, okay, we'll, we'll correct that. Hindi kayo matatanggal. Kung ganyan ang tingin ninyo, saan ba tayo tatamaan dito? Eh, walang mangyayari dito sa batas natin. Tignan nyo how we can make it work. Alright? Kung tignan nyo, ay, makabuhasan tayo ng bus dito. Wala pa naman tinatayo eh. Naniningil kayo sa wala. And we're creating a tax base. So please come back next time. I will try to do this. But I want, I want to release this. I'd like to help the next uh, hearing in uh, Clark or uh, so we can have all the mayors and the governors gather there so they can know what this is all about. And I would like some suggestions from you. Because we are not giving any new tax incentives here. That's very clear, right? We're not, you yeah? And what we're doing is, yung tax incentives ng PETA, yun pa rin yun. Ang pinag-uusapan natin yan is harmonizing nyo yung tax incentives. Yun ang kailangan ko ngayon. So, uh, may I have your attention, please talk to one another and make sure
sure that you can have this access and this para 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 now a paper should really uh, hurt you should really try and uh, <coughs> be assertive because kayo nasa sulu kayo and out of fairness to Senator Angara uh, the older and the younger one uh, if you want a paper to be recognized you, you make sure that you own the Pacific Ocean no, I mean it. I mean, I'm just saying, because if you're the Pacific Ocean, that's water, that's power. And you must think in terms of dreaming in such a way that you can have your own port. And even dream of a, a railroad there uh, to uh, meet uh, your part of the country. No? Or, uh, I don't know, you have to do more studies on that. Because I've been there, but I, I have to know what you intend to do. Is it just... A, to me, it's more of a tourism enterprise zone rather than, you can do both, of course, or uh, a PESA, all right? So, uh, it's hard to So, I mean, I'll tell you, uh, if I have a friend, and I hope that Sherwin uh, is aware that he was still a young man at the time when we opened up Subic, because he went there in Pinatubo, while I was really working hard he was there in his uh, baggy shoes and his, uh, I mean, dala dala niya yung mga pa, no? <laughs> yung mga girlfriend niya, dala niya doon. Uh, pati yung EA po, kinuha niyang girlfriend niya. Kulo ko ito, eh. Uh, si Kwan. <laughs> anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, we have duty-free shopping there. It should be uh, this is a lesson for everybody. Patang ang subig eh. Wala. Asa sulok, takot na tanda ako, may pinatubo. The free port was created to create tourism and enterprise zones as well. When we started there, we allowed duty-free shopping. Sabi ko, ba't pupunta kayo sa Hong Kong o sa Singapore? Makakasak na mga kayo doon. At ayaw kong magiging korap ang tao. Meron kayong $200 pagpunta niya doon. Hindi mo na sasabihin sa anak mo na upuan mo nga itong spam para hindi makita paglabas sa gate. Uh, uh, you know, Isuot mo na yung sapatos para may spagala natin. Magdadala ng luma sapatos, bibili ng sapatos doon. No, I believe that the Filipinos are honest. I believe at the night. So sabi ko, bigyan mo na $200 dyan. Pero pagka beyond $200, they have to pay taxes. Pag nag-smart na sila, suspend na yung part nila. Hindi sila makakabalik. Ito mga people na. Pati yung sundari natin, I just said this last uh, two weeks ago to the chief of staff, all retirees at saka mga veterans should be able to shop in Subic and Clark para komisari nila yan. They give it to their military. Consider that, because that's one of the things that I'd like to add to the law. In fact, I'm very proud. I want to bring it back. Because na-ingit lahat yung mga malls dito. Natakot sila na. Subic raw. In fact, they're just natakot because it's competing raw with them. It's not true. Hindi naman gano'n palaki. And we were very, very careful. But that was what, that was what made Subic. That gave confidence to a lot of our countrymen when they got there. Uy, iba pala dito, ibang traffic, at saka air-condition dito, yung mga ba, maganda mag-shopping dito, pwede pala kami makakain ng steak dito kahit na mahirap kami. Uh, there's a, uh, even a pillow for every Filipino, I remember that, nakakabili siya ng pillow maganda, yung mga comforter, nabili siya doon. Sure, a little bit of comfort, a little bit of services. Anong ginawa na naman ng national government? Ito yung tiyo, ito yung tiyo, hundred dollars, fifty dollars. Tawag pa ito lang na kayo, imbis na yun ang later, naging smuggle lang drugs sa customs. Who are you to tell me? Who are you to tell me? So, I just want you to think about it. I think, Subic should be right at Hong Kong and Singapore na may duty-free shop, may lahat sila, and they can buy there. But, if they go beyond a certain amount, there must be tax. That will make it attractive, especially for the tourists that are going to come on uh, in Clark and Subic. That's why I believe, do you, would you agree Clark and Subic should be one airport? I don't, don't like your help because I need your commitment here. Please go to the microphone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You think it's a practical idea, right? Yes, sir. 
Bila satu Isasat Ikan lah Pantai Tais Kerja Lagi Subi I was reminding That when Clark was out of order The first year There was a plane crash In the airport here Of China Airlines And I had My guest at that time Was Bill Pack Hong Kong governor And he said Dick Can you land Seven four seven here Yeah We're getting FedEx I don't know We had the C5C before Senior Teo Pag tingin ko doon sa office club, may lumalanding na 747. Oh, in fact, there's one landing right now. That's when they're naman. Oh, in fact, there's another one. And another one. And another one. I think about 14 or 16 747 landing in Subic that day. Because nag-crash ang aeroplano dito sa Rado, Manila. That's why I'm saying, we should have three airports. Meron lang mag-a-crash. Kung may isa-a-a-a, mag-a-crash na lang goods, dali mo sa Subic o dali mo sa Clark. Are you available to that? The answer is yes, sir. On the microphone. Yes, sir. Thank you. Wala kayo mga tatangutago dito. Hindi po yung tatangutago dito. Wala lang ka-record. Here's an example. So, do not change the rules in the middle of the game. Because once you did that, hindi naman ang self-supply. I bet you, if I go to the mall, if I go to any mall in this country, somebody told me about 60% of the products that come from China. 30 to 60 percent come from China. And they come from Bali. And everybody's quiet when you have that Chinese uh, operations in Binondo. And you know, 168? 168. But legitimate car in this country, and I'm saying to the high level, the new people better, you know, I don't want to produce her. Don't forget, it's worth time to do choices and opportunities. 
opportunities for our people. You don't have to wake up early in the morning, not see your children, ride the bus, suffer the traffic, and then come home late at night, and you don't even see your kids. You can open up in Nevesia, you can open up in Bampana, you can open up all the way to La Union, eventually. And if you do that, I think that will be best. So thank you all for coming here today. Uh, who did not attend that you invited? I would like to warn them and admonish them. We invited DPWH. They should at least have a representative here. Are you here? Why are you not sure here? Why? My gosh. The noisy you get the noise. Maging ito para mapansin ka naman. Ano ka ba? Ano sa kitari? Original director. Oh, yan. Oh. You have any comments? Sayang naman yung biyayin mo. Magpapapirma ka pa sa akin na nandito ka. Para ako may perdihan mo. Ano? You support? Go to the microphone. And tell me your name. I know you, but I tell, tell them your name. Uh, I'm uh, Director Antonio B. Mulano Jr. of DPWH Region 3. Okay. And I uh, fully support the bill of the good senator. Sabi mo kay Mark, baka palitan mo si Mark, pagkalit siya. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else who's not here? Oh. Neda, sir. Neda? Wala po siya. Neda. Malalaki oh, ulo yan eh. Sige. Uh, B-I-R. Atone ni na Asuncion. She confirmed but hindi siya dumating. Well, uh, the secretary is uh, directed to uh, send them a show cause why they should not be declared and recommended for contempt. Yes, sir. We're sorry. doing important things here. Ano ba? Sino ba? Uh, the, I don't want uh, to delay the proceedings. Mr. Vivencio Dizon from... Ah, uh, next to Chef. Andiyan na ang BCDA, si Aileen. Lapit na ang matulog. Uh, <laughs> Lambing-lambing ng boses eh. Asia, Aurora Pacific Economic Zone. Andiyan na ang si Aileen. Oh. Pineda. Aileen, who defended you? Dito sa Pineda, di ba? Oo. Oh. <laughs> Tatanggalin yung budget nila. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya sinama natin lahat, wala, wala tayong minamarginalize. And thank you, Livin. For your Can you bring us a, a map uh, digital para makikita natin next time? A board of investments ka ba? Sorry. Oh, ano ano sa'yo mo? Hindi ka nagsasalita. Si Brian Malawas sa Kanamliya. Yet, what can I... Ano? Are you in support? Yes, sir. I'm going to be one of the regional industry, so we will have to pay for the deal. You have good judgment and good taste, both of you. What about you, uh, Brian? In uh, Namliya? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Can you help us with the maps? Ah, uh, yes, sir. We have already bought the... Uh, digital. Digital? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Good. Thank you. In CDs. Thank you. You remember, I'm going to bring in a 50 million uh, for this uh, uh, hazard box. Yes, sir. Uh, in Lapang, we have no hazard map. We have no hazard map. Because I was in the Red Cross, I didn't have a hazard map. Eh. That was after, after Ginsa Ugon. Okay, anybody else? And all the governors of Region 3. So. And anybody in the governor, mga politiko yan eh. Okay, if the mountain does not go to Mohammed, Mohammed must come to the mountain. So when do you want the next meeting? Yes, my dear. DTI. Oh. I'm from DTI Region 3 and DTI How can you sell the country? Fully DTI? supports the bill. Thank you. I will excuse you for not talking, but uh, because of that. But any time, when you come here, never mind. So let us come in late, but tell us why we can hear your views. Yes, you support you. You understand? It's really coordinating and cooperating with each other so we can have a, a brand that we can support all over the world. Uh, Eli, Eli, you have something to say? Yeah, good afternoon, Chair and Your Honors. Uh, I've have, uh, supports the wisdom of the the bill in so far as uh, promoting the dispersal of uh, investments into the countryside. And uh, in fact, uh, this is an affirmation of what we have been doing uh, informally uh, in the PIPP. We have a uh, sector on manufacturing and logistics, which is focused on Region 3. And amongst ourselves, we have been working on uh, 
improving the ease of doing business and uh, rationalizing the That's registration important. requirements. And uh, I would just like to uh, support also the proposition of uh, Chair Amy uh, in proposing to have the, their share, uh, CDC and SBMAs, share in the 5% GIE by way of requesting that it be retained for AFAB. We work on that. I just want to remind uh, uh, the RF also that, uh, and the uh, DTI, uh, uh, former chairman, uh, of Bayou, when I talked during the 25th anniversary, and we've been talking about this for a long time among ourselves, and even Arman Arasa is here from, uh, from, uh, from Subic, no? And they were talking about a Cavite. That's why I'm saying I'm reserving the best for last. A Cavite, uh, either a bridge or an underground, uh, an underwater, undersea tunnel that will connect Cavite to Mariveles, or to, to, to Bataan, and onward to Central Luzon. That will mean Central, Southern, uh, and Metro Manila will be totally cool. Uh, if they can build a uh, if they can build something in uh, in the in uh, in uh, London uh, to go to Paris along the Padre Calais, if I'm not mistaken, we can do that. I will just close uh, by thanking you all and to all of you, especially to DOF, because I love you. <laughs> A long time ago, whenever I spoke when I was doing so big. People would always tell, oh, my Europe, my Europe. Everything is always changed, my Europe, my Europe. But I'll tell you, but tira na mo ang Pilipino, makakagawa ka ba ng tunnel underneath the uh, passing para lumuwag ang traffic? Kasi sabi siya, oh, my Europe, yan, po, kura puti niyan. You are a Hong Kong guy or a Singapore guy. Can I go, can you go to the moon someday? Oh, yes, we can do it. That's the difference. That is the difference. The ability to believe our country. So, come over and uh, I would like to have one more meeting. Hindi naman mag-complicate itong bill na ito eh. Ang, ang talagang tayong pag-uusapan na lang ninyo, kayo na mag-uusap at next meeting ha. Kung paano natin uh, yung incentives, kung paano yung direction. You cannot occupy two positions so you have to have a representative here. And then a representative from the regional development uh, group kayo na para nun, uh, para maliit lang yung board, para mabilis. Because uh, once you harmonize it and you're able to do it last time, you will be working as a team already. And even before the bill is approved, you can already, like uh, Venus Nation is doing, uh, say you can now go to this new destination where you can have this. And then you can even say Manila is going to be urbanly developed. And then you can say South Pakistan is going to have this. It, it's always the first thing when it happens that creates a new uh, generation of change. This is going to be a game changer, I assure you that. And uh, I will let uh, Harley say something because he's the most uh, marginalized because Aurora is uh, aping api. Kaya api ko eh. <laughs> well, good afternoon, Your Honors. Uh, uh, first of all, sir, uh, we'd like to thank you for including a PECO for, uh, for this uh, bill. And with that, sir, um, uh, we fully support and uh, we believe that uh, with this bill, makakasabay na kami, sir, with SBMA. Hopefully, makakasabay na kahit nasa likod lang ng konti. <laughs> okay, 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 I, I believe in the... Uh, Pacific side of the, nothing is being developed in the Pacific side, except Mauna uh, and Isabella. Isabella is already part of the Or if the country is listening, Isabella is already part of the from its capital to the Pacific side. Kaya na Pacific nagawa, Isabella wala. Ang shared love, that's going to be an international surfing holiday uh, area, yang Camarines Norte. Gamitin natin yung mga lakas na yan para magawa natin. All right? We can never run out of good ideas in this country. But we have to eliminate those who fear the future. Okay? Thank you all very much. And I'll see you at the next meeting when? 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 January or December? Yes. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. We, uh, AFAB and Clark will meet 
hopefully tomorrow after the JEC meeting. Yeah. I was just whispering to Chair Emmy that um, we'll have to consolidate all our suggestions so that we'll be able to submit it to you. We can do that also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we'll be we'll, so when we get to you, sir, we hope to get a private audience with you sure. so that you'll be able to see what we have in mind already to amend the law. Then make a decision when we're going to meet because it's going to take time to gather all the governors and the congressmen together. Gloria Macabagalaroy should be part of it because she's the former president. And, you know, you can get maybe even Secretary Major Deo to come here or Secretary of Trade. Can you give it to me right away because uh, para we can start the ground running. Okay. Okay. And next time, uh, please give me a report as government corporation chairman. Please give me a report of your contributions to the economy by way of employment which creates a tax base, how much you pay BNR with the employees there and the businesses there, how much you generate in terms of resources for our country, your corporate taxes and everything. So that, uh, you know, you make yourself look good. Because if nobody knows what you're contributing, everybody's going to push you around. All right? On that note, is there any other things? Uh, Ami, you want to say something? Okay, uh, yes, Eileen. Just the uh, last point. BCDA is about to um, award our Comprehensive Integrated Master Development Plan, which uh, spans and covers all our When are you going to do that? Uh, this week, Nasser. So we, and we will include, of course, SBMA. This will be a good starting point for the master plan for the whole Central Luzon uh, which can be a backbone for the special yeah. economic zones. Um, I was able to talk to Vince and the uh, president of BCDA, and they're including in their budget the master plan for the Redondo Peninsula because we wouldn't want to entertain anymore until yeah, the master plan is in place. The whole, uh, all the municipalities and private, ano possibility na ito municipality na pwede siya magkaroon ng 25 hectares or 100 hectares? Kasi hindi naman lahat may lupa eh. And the other thing that I wanted to invite, I got an idea was yung, yung land inventory. Sino ang mga may land pa na available dyan? And by the way, if we can build up, we should build up because kulang na ang lupa ng Pilipinas eh. Yan ang problema mga natin eh. Pani, uh, first uh, floor na gusto, palilito ba? Dapat matuto tayo katulad Singapore sa Hong Kong, nakatira sila sa taas para marami tayong uh, parks, marami tayong hospitals, marami tayong paglalagyan. Eh right now, wala na. Lahat kinukuha. Alright? So, how can you uh, lead the charge here with uh, Venice and uh, uh, tell us uh, when the, the next meeting will be? Maybe, kano uh, ba ang session natin sa January? 15? Would that be too long? January 15? I'm willing to work in uh, December. Uh, anyway, uh, all I need is another. I will just suspend this. Para may quorum pa kole. Para tayo ay kuli si si Juan, si Sherwell. Kaya ilan lang kami dito sa Government Corporation. So if I suspend this, the quorum continues. So we can we can come in. So maybe uh, uh, I will, please uh, take note. We might call you uh, before we meet with the mayors. Para magawa natin with the governors and everybody. All right. Suspended until the next date to be announced. Thank you all.